this is an Alan Bradley Compact Logic PUC. It is the Compact Logic. The model number is 1769-L33ER. Its IP address is 192.168.0.92. And this is an Alan Bradley Micro A50. The model number is 2080-LC50-24QWB. Its IP address is 192.168.0.90. We have both PUCs connected to the same Ethernet switch. This blue one is from the Compact Logix PUC. This white one is from the Micro A50. And the last one, this one, go to my computer. On my computer for the Micro A50 PUC, in the global variables, we have two tags in arrays of 16 elements. It goes from 0 to 15. and it must be in the global variables so the compact logic PUC will need to send data to real input and it will need to collect data from real output from the micro a50 PUC for the compact logic PUC programming under controller tags in studio 5000 logic designer we will have two tag arrays of 16 elements for data it sent to and it collect from the micro a50 puc let's go to the main routine In the main routine, we have only four runs for the communication between the compact logic and the micro A50. The first run starts from zero. It is for the timer for the communication to get triggered every 250 milliseconds. The second rung, rung 1, it is for the communication failure alarm that is triggered from either read or write message instruction blocks. The third rung, rung 2, is for message read instruction block. For the compact logic PUC to read data from the micro A50 for every 250 milliseconds. In the message configuration, under configuration tab, we have CIP data table read for message type and real output tag from the micro A50 source element because it is an array so we have to specify number of elements 16 and for the destination element we have real from micro A50 start from element 0 that we just created in the controller tags. Let's go to the next tab, communication. For the path, we have two comma, and then 
this is the micro 850 IP address 192.168.0.90 and we have this box checked with that box checked the last one we don't have to do anything okay the last run run 3 it is for the write message instruction block for compact logic PUC to write data to the micro 850 PUC for every 250 milliseconds in the message configuration under configuration tab we have CIP data table write for message type and the source element we have this we just created in the controller tag and again 16 elements for the array and destination element is the tag from the micro a50 puc under communication tab we have the same path to comma micro a50 puc ip address 192.168.0.90 and these two boxes checked. Okay. Now let's go online with both PUCs and test it out. The compact logic PUC IP address is 192.168.0.92. Go online. Let's open controller tags. We will focus on these two arrays real to micro A50 and real from micro A50. Let's go online with the micro A50 PUC. Its IP address is 192.168.0.90 Let's go to the global variables and focus on these two arrays real input and real output On the left, we have micro A50 data, and on the right, we have compact logic PUC data. Real input element zero. It is the input, so we won't be able to enter anything here. So we go to the compact logic PUC real to micro A50 element zero. We have one, two, three, dot four and micro A50 PUC we have the same thing. One, two, three, dot four. Let's try the last element, element 15.
real to micro a50 element 15 999.8 We have the same thing on the micro A50 999.8 Now let's try real output from micro A50 to compact logic PUC First element 0 Five 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 dot six real from micro a fifty element zero five 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 dot six because it is the input from micro a fifty we won't be able to enter anything from the compact logic. We reject it. Let's try the last element fifteen. Seven eight dot seven eight. Real from micro A fifty element fifteen. 78.78 So the communication is working That's why we don't have any communication failure alarm here on rung 1 Now let's disconnect the micro A50 PUC from the network and see the communication failure alarm come on. The Y1 is for the micro A50 PUC. Communication failure alarm come on. Now let's reconnect the micro A50 to the network. It might take a while to restore. It's good now. Thank you for watching. That's it. Thank you for watching.